is up guys, Ed Bandicoot 101 here and welcome to another Bandy vlog. I believe this is my fourth Bandy vlog, so enjoy the vlog guys. Today nothing that interesting is really happening, but I have finished building my bed yesterday night and obviously giving it a test run and seeing how comfy it was. So you can see it down there. It looked pretty nice I think. It's got like a curved side and edge to it and it was really cheap. It was about £120, no, £110, so about 140 US dollars. It was a real cheap double bed, uh, just a standard four foot six. Really nice, really comfy, and it's really low to the ground though. If you can see by my leg, it's like ankle height. So if you're an old person, I wouldn't recommend buying it because it's hard to get out of it. But I'll have an Amazon link to it down in the description because I'd highly recommend it. It's not too easy to build, but it looks really nice once it's done. So I'd highly recommend it. So my bed's done. That's the first thing I wanted to mention. Uh, what else am I up to today? So I've been playing a lot of Quantum Break, as previously mentioned. It's really good. I'm really into it. I'm finished Act Three now, and I've watched the tr the uh, video in between Act Two and th in between Act Three and Four. So basically, how Quantum Break works is every time you do like a whole mission or a whole act, you get a video like of the TV series. So it all ties in together as to what you've done in game as to what happens in the TV series. And it's really, really good actually, so I'm really into that, and I finished Act 3. I gave it a break and played a little bit of Killer Instinct and just tried out all the characters. I'm quite enjoying that as well actually, I've only played that for about half an hour. And now I've got a bit bored, and I haven't got a lot else to do, so to be honest, I might show you my subwoofers today, and actually give you like an overview of my sound system in my car, and on top of that I think I'm probably going to uh, paint some Warhammer and watch a bit of Netflix. So I thought I'd show you my painting setup real quick. So here at my desk, I keep a sheet of glass under my desk, and then under the desk, where the sheet of glass is, I put it on top of the desk when I'm painting. I have a little cup full of water, I have my Warhammer, and I can spray everything on this as well, so that's why I've got the sheet of glass, and I can wipe paint on it to dab it down. And uh, yeah, that's basically my painting setup. I've got three different size brushes, uh, extra fine, standard, and uh, like a, a wash brush. And I've also got my Warhammer glue, I've got a lot of it back there, Warhammer glue and paint. You can see I've got lots of pots back there. So uh, that's basically my painting setup. I'm really not that into it at the moment. I've painted it in years and I thought I'd give it a shot again. So I spent like a hundred quid on stuff and uh, I thought I'd give it a shot and play around with it. Uh, other than that, I'm going to watch some Netflix, listen to some music while I paint it. And I'm going to do that for a few hours now before I go to gym. And then I'll give you guys an overview of my subwoofers, hopefully while it's still daylight. But I'll see you guys very soon. So guys, I've been painting this guy for about an hour and 45 minutes now. Uh, can't really get focus very well, but he is looking pretty good. I've done the first layer of gold all over him. He's a Chaos Space Marine, in case you can't tell. Uh, I've done the eyes. I've done the first layer of gold, which I did in Retribution Armor, which I will then coat with some uh, Reichland Flesh Shade and then Arctic... What was it? An Auric... I can't even read it. Auric Armor Gold, which I will use for highlighting, and then the gold will be all done. Uh, I've finished the eyes, I'm probably going to put a white dot in those to show reflection on the lenses. So I've highlighted all the silver already, and other than that, I think, other than the shading on the gold and the highlighting, I think he's pretty much done. Obviously I still need to paint the base, uh, but I haven't got any brown paint at the moment, so I'll be heading down the shop to get some at some point. But overall he's looking pretty damn good, as you can tell. Uh, actually, there's a bit on there in his arm I need to sort out. Jeez, didn't notice that. The rest of him looks pretty good. I touched his legs up and everything. So, uh, yeah, he's looking pretty damn fine. Pretty damn good. I need to get some uh, brown as well for his... You can't really see it, but by his chest plate, he's got a... He's kind of got, like, braces on. I quite like doing those in, like, a browny, leathery colour, kind of tanny leather. Uh, I know it doesn't really go with the models. I might, I might deepen black or maybe... I'm not sure, we're going to have to play around with that and see what it is, because it is my first model. But uh, details on him are looking pretty damn good, I think. So, uh, try and get him in focus. Too close. Too far away, there we go. So yeah, details on him are looking pretty damn good. Just need to highlight it and everything, and it should be a bit better. Uh, meanwhile, while I was doing that, I was watching uh, Wayne's World. I've watched 10 minutes of, and I finished The Good Burger. So I was looking at all the old films I haven't watched since I was a kid. But yeah. That's uh, how I've wasted most of my day today. Now it's off to gym. Well, guys, I've been to gym. I literally did half an hour and just did abs and cardio. So uh, that was pretty pointless, but my abs are torn. So better than doing fuck all. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd show you my subwoofers now. I've gone to pick my girlfriend up from work. I'm sat in the big empty car park and I thought I might as well show them off because uh, you've never really seen them before properly. And I thought I'd just give you a little tour of my beautiful sound system in my really shit car. So 
As previously mentioned in other videos, it is a 2003 Nissan Almera. Really reliable car, pretty damn quick because it's a 1.5. For a first car, it's pretty quick. Uh, it's got like 110 brake horsepower, which is, I know it's like fuck all, but for a first car, it was an arm and a leg to ensure. It's a lovely drive, reliable as anything, and I do love it to pieces, even though I treat it like shit, as you can tell by the uh, amount of crap I have on my floor that I treat as a bin and everything. And uh, my mate that's built protein shake on my seat, fucking dickhead. Anyway, I put a nice sound system in it because I do a lot of motorway mileage for my commuting to work every day. So I work 50 miles from home nearly, 45. So, uh, what I am, what I did do is the second I got the car is I brought it down to a professional place. I'll give them a shout out. I'll put a link to their website in the description. Uh, they're called, oh, I've forgotten the name of them now. South, South something audio. Anglesey, Anglesey Audio, and it's in Southampton, so if you live in southern England, you can head down to Southampton and have a look in Anglesey Audio, because they do fantastic sound systems and really cheap fitting. So what I ordered was a standard Pioneer radio, which you can have a 3.5mm input to. This is all I wanted was something I could shove a cable in and listen to my music out of choice, because my original stock radio of the car didn't allow you to do this. Um, I also added two side speakers, these, these ones down here. I shot my leg there. These ones down here are actually uh, not the stock ones that come in the car because they were so old and the car, car had gotten a bit mildew, I think. And uh, the speakers had actually just completely blown. They were all crispy and didn't actually have any... They're kind of like just distorted when you turn the volume up to a remotely normal level. So uh, they needed replacing. The ones in the back are fine. It's just ones in the front. Probably damp from feet always being near them or something, I guess, because when it rains, you know, you get wet water in the car and it damages the speakers somewhat when it's really humid. But... We uh, upgraded those to some, uh, I'm not sure what they are, but they're, they're like good performance mid-range speakers. They're about £80 each, so about $100 to $120 each. So they sound really good, really good for vocals. And I left the stock tweeters in the car, the tweeters in the two side front panels, because they're really good anyway. And uh, to be honest, that is all you, they were all I really needed, because I can play with the equaliser and up the volume on the tweakers and the mids to uh, drown out the subwoofer. But what I did do was I got a ridiculous subwoofer. So it'd be turned down to like 10, 20% volume most of the time for, you know, really nice bass, giving it a bit of depth and nice instrument separation. But, um, you know, when I turned it up, I could shake other people's cars, I could annoy people and absolutely deafen myself with it. So, uh, that's what happened in uh, terms of my audio upgrade. It cost me a total of £810, so about $1,100, US which is a hell of a lot of money to spend on an audio system in a crap car. But when I move my car over uh, to the Audi TT, I'm not going to put it in it because it's going to be a, it's going to be a uh, finance car, so I'm not allowed to take all the matting up and wire in a subwoofer. But I did pay for the Bang & Olufsen sound systems and added extra, so I'm not particularly bothered about that. I'll keep it in my room and probably put it in my girlfriend's car because she really likes it anyway. So the subwoofer I got in question is the JL Audio Twin 12 Box WVO3, I think it's called. So it's a Twin 12 subwoofer uh, in a box, which can be powered by anything up to a 500 watt amplifier. And I bought a 250 watt JL Audio amp with this because despite these subs uh, being up to be able to power by 500 watt, they're more than, 250 watts is more than ample, and I got an official JL Audio one, so it'd be nice and easy to set up in terms of spec. Uh, they were both on sale when I got them, so actually I got this whole set of pretty cheap, even though it was a lot of money. It's still pretty cheap for what I've got, and uh, the spec of the speakers is absolutely ridiculous. For 250 watts pumping through it with the, with the uh, amplifier half turned up, which is the JL Audio recommended spec, I can absolutely deafen people. I'm talking 120 decibels in terms of my uh, when it's turned up. And from, from a stock box system that I bought on a whim, not knowing much about subwoofers, that's hella loud, you know, it's really, you make this steering wheel completely vibrate and jump up and down and all the mirrors you can't see shit in because they're vibrating so much. So, without any further ado, I will show you the system and then get some music playing with the boot open, just so you can have a look at it uh, in terms of it, you know, flexing so you can see the speaker drivers actually moving. And you won't be able to hear it, of course, because I'm using a your phone camera so in all honesty the speakers you're not going to be able to understand what they sound like at all but you'll be able to see them flexing and understand that they do a fair bit of a uh, fair bit of shake in the car so let's go take right, a look so i've got another phone in my hand so i can actually record properly so here is the shot of what the mirrors look like when i turn the bass up i hope you guys are ready for this i have hit play So yeah, that's what it looks like from uh, inside the car. Now we're gonna, I'm just gonna open up the boot quick. It is raining, so it's gonna be fun, but I'm gonna try and show you the subwoofers flexing. So all you gotta do is hit play, Beth, by the way. It's the sound system, guys. Let's go, Beth. That was the 
Tail Audio Twin 12 set up in my car. I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Bandicoot101. Like my Facebook page at Bandicoot101. Links to all that stuff will be down in the description below. As well as my Instagram, which I've now got. So you can follow me on that as well. I do some fitness stuff on there, which you might be interested in. Because I do that. I don't really do a lot of that on my YouTube channel. So if you're into fitness, check my Instagram out as well. Uh, so, what we covered today. We've looked at my Chaos Space Marine. The first one that I've painted. So that's uh, not quite finished yet. But very nearly. Just need to do some basic highlights and touch-ups. I did that touch up on the shoulder, by the way. I was super embarrassed after seeing that in the video. Not, not to mention I'm embarrassed I'm posting videos about Warhammer anyway, but we're going to ignore that one. Uh, so we got some, we looked at my Space Marine. We've looked at my well, Chaos Space Marine before we will get all hyped up. We've also looked at my JL Audio Twin 12 WVO5 system with uh, the JL Audio 250 watt amplifier. Uh, we've also looked at my new bed. So that's, that's basically a recap of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, to fill links to all this stuff, I'll have a link down to Games Workshop. So if you want to get into Warhammer, you can have a look at that in the description below. If you want to look at the, you know, the Chaos Space Marines and the armies and all that and the paints you need for it. Uh, if you want to look at the JL Audio Subwoofer, I'll have an Amazon link to the English ver and the US version of that in the description below as well. As well as the amplifier, in case you want to wire it up. Uh, you'll also need a cabling kit, so I'll probably link one of those down there with the US and UK link. So that's uh, all the stuff you need if you want to shove some subwoofers in the back of your car. Uh, you'll have to look at the instructional video because they're really hard to fit as well. But that's why I got mine put in for like 80 quid and just got some, some professionals to do it for me because I'm not a professional. Hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you very soon with more gaming, vlogs or tech videos.